from the new Channel 5 Network. Here are your afternoon headlines. I'm Carrie Sharp. A 42 year old man pleads guilty to raping a six year old girl in Lebanon. Police say Edwin Velasquez Curiciche pled guilty to two counts and will serve two consecutive 25 year sentences. Police also say he is an undocumented immigrant and will serve the sentence jointly with a 50 year federal sentence he got for producing child pornography from that same incident. After Planned Parenthood of Middle Tennessee announced it was putting its abortion services on hold, one woman takes matters into her own hands. Bridget Bresnihan has set up a group on Facebook called the Tennessee Abortion Access Network after that announcement came out. She's hoping to facilitate transportation housing for women who need an abortion and must now travel to Memphis or Knoxville to get it. An inmate from the Hickman County Jail is on the run after walking away from work detail. Police say Robert Wharf was last seen about 1145 this morning. He is believed to be on the run in Centerville, but may be trying to get to Hidden Valley. It is unlikely he is still wearing his orange prison uniform. If you see him, call the Hickman County Sheriff's Office. Former First Lady Michelle Obama is coming to Nashville. She'll be at the Ryman as part of her nationwide book tour. Her new book, Becoming, has already outsold every book release this year. Tickets for the show on May 12th go on sale this Friday. Let's check that weather now with meteorologist Henry Rothenberg. Well, these temperatures are warmer this evening, but the clouds are going to filter in, as you can see, on exact track. And the rain chances, well, they're not immediately behind it. It won't be until about Thursday. So with lows tonight in the 30s, down to 56 for uh, Wednesday's higher, say up to 56. Then the rain chances and in the 50s as we finish the upcoming week.